What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of There Is No Off Season. Thank you guys once again for tuning back in to join me on this bulking phase that is coming to a close very soon in the beginning of January, and that's when I'm going to start dieting, guys. That's when I'm going to start prepping for shows, and I plan on doing, you know, around three, at least three shows, I'd say. You know, just getting shredded, guys, as shredded as I can get, you know, just trying to beat my last year's um, conditioning and everything like that. So on another note, you know, if you haven't already done so, I've began a new series. It's pretty much called Mind Muscle Connection, very common name, but Mind Muscle Connection, the series is pretty much a instructional series in which I do, I perform movements, you know, not teaching you how uh, how to perf- perform them, but strictly just how I perform them. And it's not to say that, you know, one way is, is correct over the other. However, you know, it's, it, that's, it's, that's how I perform the movement and, you know, it works best for me. And so if you guys haven't already done so, go ahead and check that out. I've uploaded two episodes. One is the the dumbbell row and the second one is the dumbbell goblet squat so this actually is another movement that i really really favor and this is essentially a low row on a cable and it takes all the tension away from your lower back while just fully activating the lats as you can see um you know you can go pretty heavily pretty heavy on this and then i ended the back workout with some face pulls in which i go full range guys i i get pretty much like the nose of that handle and I touch it to my nose and so you know it, it, you really feel good on the rear delt so that's actually gonna conclude this workout see you guys all in the next clip so we are at my friend Ann's house for Thanksgiving the first Thanksgiving dinner that I'm attending this year and so uh, really excited to eat and Let's make some gains, and I'll show you guys what we're eating. Add in my salad. What are you doing? Baby corn, Asian baby corn. Hey, what's this? Hey, what's this? What's this? Um, am I gonna go on your little YouTube thing? Yeah. Are all of your viewers gonna see me? Yeah. Man, I should have put on a better place. <laughs> this is my secret recipe. Eat now. Oh. <laughs> It's time to eat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go around and say what we are thankful for. Again? Again. <laughs> Family tradition. It's a big circle now. It's gonna take a long time. Yeah, just say okay, one, thing. Just pray. One, one, one thing. One word. All right. One word of what you're thankful for. I everyone say a word. Start with Nat. Oh. oh. <laughs> Damn, Damn, you, out. All right. you need some time? No, I'm good. <laughs> so. I want to thank um, Nancy. Oh, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. No, 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 no one's a bitch. No, <laughs> oh, I'm not. It's a lot of mashed potatoes. Yeah, both, Johnny. Is this wine bread? Hell yeah. I know. Look at that. Christine and Amanda are going shot for shot. Yeah, <laughs> fun. There's a I mean, you and Andrew are shopping. This is my plate, and this is baby girl's plate. Good morning, guys. Just woke up. <laughs> Look at my hair. It's crazy. Uh, it is noon right now. Just woke up. Finally got to sleep in. I usually like to sleep in on Sundays, but um, it's cold here in Houston, Texas. Finally around 40 degrees. Um, I love the cold. However, you know, some, sometimes it sucks to wake up to it. So just got some breakfast cooking right now. Have some dumplings as always. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dumplings. Uh, but gonna cook up some breakfast and then right after this, I'm actually gonna go and hit legs. You know, I don't think there's anyone at HQ today, but um, I'm just, you know, I'm still gonna hit legs because I had skipped on Thursday, so after I'll cook this and eat this up, I'll see you all at the gym. So I'm here now at the gym. It's on a Sunday. No one is here. However, I'm going to hit legs today. I got the uh, Addy Powers on the red Addy Powers red jacket, and I do have some red knee sleeves um, that are under my pants. <clears throat> so 
I'm gonna I'm gonna kill legs today. I'm feeling I'm feeling real good today. Um, had a really good night's sleep, and I think I'm gonna do a um, kind of a instructional video on a dumbbell front squat, which is also called a goblin squat or goblet squat. And so, you know, by the time the, the, the this video has been uploaded, the instructional video has already been uploaded. So if you haven't already, go and check it out. Um, this new series I kind of do is called Mind Muscle Connection, which provides tips and everything like that. So go and check it out, guys, and uh, I'm gonna start this workout. All right, so some of you have been asking me, you know, what do I do for warm up or, or, or what do I do for stretching or stuff like that and before my workouts and so I like to kind of uh, kind of separate the two now there's a difference between warming up and stretching now for me I like to warm up before and then I like to stretch after now what I mean by that is when I warm up it's pretty much like getting your muscles warm just think about it like this you want to kind of, you know, before your workout starts, you want to kind of mimic the movements that you're going to do, um, you know, otherwise known as dynamic stretching. You know, um, it's it's kind of a way for, it's waking your muscles up, essentially. You know, and for me, my belief is that when you're static, when you're doing static stretching, quote unquote, um, you're actually putting your muscles asleep or you're weakening your muscles. Now, just think of a rubber band, okay? I, I always think of this analogy. I forgot where I really learned this from. Treat your body, or, or think of your body as a rubber band, okay? So, pretend like you find a rubber band on the ground and it's cold. Try and get that rubber band and pull it. Now, when it's cold and you're pulling the rubber band, which is essentially what you're doing to your muscles, you're stretching your muscles before your workout, when it's cold, the rubber band will pop. Um, not to say that your muscles will pop, however, it's not really ideal for your muscles to stretch when it's cold. Now, try stretching the rubber band when it's warm. You'll find that the rubber band is a lot more elastic and that is strictly because that's pretty much how your body is. You know, your body is made up of many tendons and you know, lots of joints and stuff like that. And so when it's warm, that's when it performs its best. And so when I warm up, I, you know, as you see, I do a lot of warm up sets for squats. You know, a squat is a really dangerous movement, a really big movement. And so I usually do, you know, I warm up with the bar. For, first I, you know, do the, the goblet squats, you know, five or 10 pounds on my, with the dumbbells. And then I go with a bar and, and 25 and 45 and so on and so on. So I don't really, count the number of squat sets that I do for warm up. I just go according to feel. And so that's my take on stretching guys. And if you want me to do a stretching video, honestly, even a warm up video, it's, it's really uh, something that I am a firm believer in. So leave a comment in the comment section below if you would like for me to do a warm up slash stretching video. And um, I'll add it to my mind muscle connection video guys. And so That'd be it for this workout, guys. I'll see you all in the next clip. All right, guys. So we just got to the gym right now, and uh, we always kind of joke around, but everyone, everyone always jokes on me or jokes on the other person. No one ever jokes on Christian, so kind of thought we'd fuck them up real, real quick. Excuse my language. So we got some artificial snow right here, and apparently you just add water to this, and I hope this works. This looks like a, this looks like something. It's not fitness related right here, this thing. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get some water real quick. All right, so. You're supposed to mix it, add water. I don't know what's going on right now. That's how I feel. So. This is how it's looking right now, and this is this is not working right now. All right, so you just mix it around. Oh, okay, it's 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 thickening up right now. So I'm just gonna pour this all over Kristen's desk, if it's not watery. Because if it is, that would not that would be terrible. You need this on your chair. Oh, there we go. It's getting it's better. Look. All right, it's thickening up. So apparently, this is supposed to turn into artificial snow. 
I don't know who gave this to them, but I thought it would be a good idea to uh, um, decorate for the holidays. So why don't we just start with Kristen's desk? Tis the season. All right, tis the season. All right. To be very. You just slipped there for that one liner. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, this is sweet. Oh, oh it's coming. It's like it oh, it smells out. terrible. <laughs> Why is Should it so be? wet? <laughs> that's, that's what she said. So, <laughs> I already took my pre-workout, so I'm kind of feeling it right now. But, uh... <laughs> oh, you keep yeah. dropping it on yourself. Let's go. Alright, guys. So, start with this chair. So Do it. Start with this chair. Okay, chair only. Put a little bit on the desk. <laughs> Just dump it on the computer, maybe. Oh, my God. Wait, I have an idea. Here we go. Christian, if you're watching this, um, I love you, and uh, don't break me. Oh, it's kind of wet. <laughs> <laughs> so, you should mix it a little bit more before you put it on yeah, anything. No, it's, it's like... It's, it's actually producing a lot of whatever. Yeah, it's a lot, dude. It's like... <laughs> Double <laughs> whatever it is, <laughs> producing a lot of whatever. Like it keeps like creating more. <laughs> like, I thought it would almost be over by now. Like look at that. All right, so we're just gonna form a little dome here. Ah. So food is. Got it. All right. It's not as cool as I thought it would be. It looks like snow, like legit snow. I yeah. thought it was like, be like decorative snow. That's like icy fucking All right. snow. So we Here, just... put this on. It says Merry Christmas. From Merry Daniel. Christmas from, from uh, yours truly. There you go. <laughs> Done. Let's go work out. Boom. <clears throat> Dumbbell incline press first exercise. Now, um, this is actually our third set, but we first started with 65 pounds, and it's a bit different because you know you get a resistance band that's behind you that you saw me tie. Uh, I pretty much formed a diamond or like a cross, and then put it behind me. So we got 80 pounds here, which you know with a little added resistance, I'd say these are about 90 on the way up, and on the way down it's just 80. So do um, about one or two sets with this, and see how it feels. All right, so this first movement that we started on is it's it's insane guys I, I i can't really justify how good this movement is it's it's such a simple idea you know i saw it in christian's video and it's such a simple idea that you don't think of it you know sometimes it's just the most simple ideas are or I guess you can say the most complex, you know, you never think about them and they're just right in front of you. And so we tried this movement. Now, you know, it, it may not look like in the video because it, I guess the band kind of just shriveled up a little bit. However, you know, you kind of throw it around your back and you form a cross and then I put it on my pinky, you know, whether you choose it or not, some people might actually put it on their whole palm. I chose to put it on my pinky because on the way up, the weight distribution is kind of angled. And so it kind of, I don't know, that extra contraction at the top or the extra squeeze I meant um, really helped achieve a bigger pump. And so here, if you're seeing it, it's just there's no resistance band. And this was the last set. And so I got challenged. You know, Christian gave me 16, the number 16. So I did 16 reps uh, with 85 pounds here. Not much. However, after the resistance bands, we were winded. Such a great movement, guys. Definitely give it a shot. And after that, we moved on to some standing cable flies, which, um, you know, like I've said before, I turned my palms kind of outward, kind of um, facing each other, but in a diagonal movement. Definitely a greater squeeze and stretch at the same time. So I finished the dumbbell incline press with um, just free weights, just 85, as you saw. And, you know, I got challenged. You know, I told them to give me a number, they gave me 16, and I did 16. And so, after that, I moved on to some incline, or some cable flies, and then now we have some incline barbell press. And you, as you see here, we have um, resistance bands, and this is actually different from last time. 
because these are, I guess it's, they're added resistance because of the way you tie them. So I got 95 pounds of free weight plus, I want to say what? What do you guys think? Like 90 pounds of, 90 pounds of resistance bands because that is really difficult. But um, I think this is my first set here. We did three sets with um, just a bar. So Shali, Moist and I are gonna attempt 95 pounds of free weight plus you know, 90 pounds, so let's see how it goes. For some reason lately, I, I've been really just, really in tune with band work. I don't know why, I guess I've been trying to just build explosiveness and it's definitely been paying off. I've been getting a lot stronger because of the explosiveness at the, t at the bottom. And as you see, you know, I find my tempo and I find that I'm strongest when I actually do a pause rep because when I'm pausing at the bottom, it allows me to gather my thoughts and gather my strength and use pretty much the muscle and push it up. And I find that this really, really um, helps me in a lot of ways. And I'm able to focus with these bands. Bands itself, you know, when you're doing this banded work, it's a lot of resistance at the bottom. As you see on the bottom of the screen, uh, the bands are tied to the two poles and they're looped again. So there's extreme amounts of tension and the kind of the purpose of this is to you know when you're pushing up you want to catch it before the the large amount of tension builds up and so that's why you're you have to focus you have to explode with all that you have because once that tension builds up it makes it a lot harder and you remember it's not only the free weight now at the very top if you let go or if you drop it it will pull you down because of that extra added resistance and this guys, it really helps you focus and really helps you just use the muscle group that you're trying to use. On top of that, you know, it's something different that you don't normally do. And so um, give it a shot. You know, I've been on that band life for for weeks now and I'd love it. Um, ended this push workout with um, some overhead um, tricep extensions and tricep push downs. You know, I always end it with some triceps and uh, that's gonna conclude this workout guys. So that's actually gonna conclude um, this workout. <laughs> and I just said it twice. And so I'll see you all in the next clip where I work out at my old university. What's up guys? So um, today is leg day and I am here at my old school, University of Houston, and ready to hit a leg workout with one of my good friends, one of my fraternity brothers, you know, back in college and everything like that. So I'll take you through it. And uh, I'm gonna get warmed up and killed. 45. Up, up. <laughs> Alright, guys, so first set here, and um, we're gonna do 295. Just kind of like a feeler set, see where I'm at today. A uh, bit tired, but testing it out real quick, do some doubles, and I believe we're gonna, I'm gonna do six sets of doubles, so let's see where I'm I feel this kind of windy right now. Let's go. I am officially back on the heavy squat game, guys. You don't understand. Honestly, you don't understand how good this feels to really just be back and squatting heavy. Um, not quite there about where I used to squat. I used to squat 380. Um, but, you know, nonetheless, I'm getting back on my squat game, guys. You don't understand how good this feels. You know, I've been doing so much work on my back and, and mobility and everything like that and it's it's finally paying off guys i finally 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 hit a pr today for 335 i hit doubles however it's it's not a lot but you know for me it's a big milestone so 335 here and um you know i th i think it went up pretty well you know let me know if you want to critique my squat form and if you're looking at the video it's weird you know it's kind of like strange just me watching and uh you know the way i feel when i'm squatting versus the way i'm watching myself squat now when you're under the bar or anything like that you don't feel like your 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 bar speed is that quick but if you look on video you know i feel like i pushed it with ease you know maybe next week or week after that i'll try a bit heavier i'm just so excited guys to just be back in the game squatting over three plates again and with confidence you know i was with my uh fraternity brother evan uh cleaver which is if you guys are in a fraternity you would know 
what this term means, but he was one of my, well, he is my first little bro that I got when I was in the fraternity, and I uh, love this guy. You know, he's a great, great head on the shoulders. He is in med or in pharmacy school right now. You know, obviously trying to be a pharmacist, and he is brilliant, guys. He's 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 brains and brawn, guys. You know, he's strong and. He's good looking and he's smart. So this is my first time working out with him and I'm so proud of him. So Cleaver, if you're watching this, love you, man. And um, you're gonna do big things. And definitely don't charge me for my prescriptions when I need them. <laughs> hey guys, you know, this is my old stomping grounds back when I was in college, when I lived on campus. This is where I worked out every day and it just felt, felt good, you know, just to come back and uh, oh, you know, if you're watching this, I forgot you guys' name, but I met two Alpha Lead followers, two Hong Fit family followers, and um, thanks guys for the amazing support. And if you're watching this, you know, you know, I for we forgot to take a picture, you know. But if you're watching this, thank you for the amazing support again. And you know, you guys are pretty much the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I love this. Just seeing people everywhere, being kind of inspired by the work that we're doing over at Alpha Lee, or, or just the work that I'm doing, or I'm trying to do with Hong Fit. Um, but, you know, hashtag change the world, guys. And um, I can't thank you enough. So, you know, um, we finished off with some hamstrings. Obviously, lastly, we did calves, but we have some standing leg curls here. Uh, really cool machine, actually. It just stretches your hamstrings a lot. And try not to use as much momentum. But um, ended that with uh, some stiff-legged deadlifts, and just recorded one set with 225, six reps, and that was it, guys. So, so that's gonna conclude this video and this commentary. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Love you all. All right, guys. So just finished the leg workout. Finally heavy volume um we're pretty heavy on squats and it felt really good today and i don't know why it's just i guess it felt good to be back here again and with my boy cleaver over here and uh kept up it's pretty good did pretty well it's my first time working out with him but you know killed it and uh the equipment here is is uh pretty i mean it's, it's obviously different and so like the way you know the exercises you do all that you may do the same exercises since it is a different you know different brand of machine although it is the same machine as well the weight distribution is completely different and the weights here are completely different as well but you know nonetheless felt very good today and had a good leg workout but we're gonna go eat now and uh get some fuel for the fire